Hey guys, welcome back to the playthrough. So we're about to start the Jacobin Club. Let's go. Four hundred armed noblemen, Honoré? If it weren't for General Enough. Lafayette... Enough! The room is fogged with your bluster! All hot air and no action! Here's a man with good news, I think. Arno, what did you learn from the silversmith? Poison. They're catching up. Germain made that pin, and others like it, for a man named Lafreniere. Sure. Certain. Grandmaster de la Serre spoke highly of his loyalty. Very well. I suppose the course is clear, Arno. Find Monsieur Lafreniere. I have done so already, Monsieur. He is no threat. What are you saying, Pispa? I had a lead on Lafreniere. I followed it, and I killed him. Unthinkable. What the hell were you thinking? I thought you dare you the the next time you shut in the council, I'll rip you a new arsehole! While this council admires your zeal, it is not your place to choose your own targets. You should have reported your findings to us. Forgive me, mentor. I believed I had found the man who ordered Monsieur de la Serre's murder. When I discovered further evidence that suggested he was about to strike at the Brotherhood in force, I took action. Believed? Suggested? I am no longer certain of Lafreniere's motivations. In his memories, I saw him writing the letter that would have warned Monsieur de la Serre of his betrayal. When he spoke of his impending attack, he mentioned a club in the Marais, not one of our safe houses. What do you make of this? I cannot say. I would like to investigate further. I don't like this. The boy is a gifted assassin, but I fear he's obsessed with a private vendetta. Let another follow this lead. We don't have time. Whatever Lafreniere was planning, it happens tonight. He did ask permission this time, Guillaume. Ah. Uh. Go then, see what you can learn. But no more rash action, hmm? Yes, mentor. Well, they weren't very happy with that. Sounds the reason, though. I mean, we went and, uh, on our own initiative, went and killed a target, and they might not have wanted us to do so, so... Ah, my friend. Hello. But I know was a willful young man, so... Makes up his own mind, but uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm sure it's going to get us in trouble again. Kind of reminds you a bit of Ezio. Alright, so... Uh, here we are, uh, about to start the mission. If we can climb. <laughs> Come on, Arno. Here we go. This is the place. What was Lafreniere so interested in? Get him upstairs, quickly. Latouche, old friend. You do get about, don't you? He really does, like, he just jumps around between people. It's crazy. I wonder if we'll get to kill him soon. I hope so. Anyway. Citizen! Stop right there! <laughs> Also, guys, did you hear that uh, controversy with NVIDIA lately? The GTX 970 actually has 3.5 gigabytes of VRAM, not 4 gigs. Well, it has, it has 3.5 gigs on one bus, and then it has a smaller bus with uh, 512 megs. But the problem is, that's actually on uh, a much lower bandwidth. So when you access the full 4 gigs, 
the performance actually gets worse than uh, when you had the 3.5 gigs. So it's not <laughs> it's not a true 4 gig card technically. Isn't that crazy? So a lot of people are pissed off. Me, it doesn't really affect me that much because I play at 1080p, so it's rarely going to go above 3.5 gigs. But that's still still really annoying. But what's funny is AMD had a kind of dig at NVIDIA there because they reduced the price of the 290X down to uh, $300, 300 euro. So it's like slightly cheaper than the 970. And uh, the slogan is uh, four gigs equals four gigs or something like that, <laughs> which I thought was really, really clever and really funny. And kind of makes me regret getting the 970. Not because it's a bad card, it still performs excellently. But uh, the 290X performs just as well, if not slightly better in some games. And it's, uh, it's now cheaper. So, ah oh well, just something to consider, but <laughs> I just find the whole thing kind of funny. Though still quite annoying that Nvidia did that, you know, they lied to them, just basically saying it's a 4 gig card, and uh, it's it's technically, technically it is a 4 gig card, but it's not a true 4 gig card in comparison to like say a 980 or a 290, 290X, so, yeah, just thought I'd point that out. What do you guys make of it? Leave in the comments below uh, what you think of it, if you're really annoyed, or if you're moderately annoyed, or if it doesn't bother you at all, or whatever. So I'm interested to see. Shady dealings though, kind of makes me hesitant to uh, go for Nvidia again. Condemned to death those who were so sacrilegious as to undress before the image of the emperor. Once tyranny invented the crime of injured majesty, which were actions either indifferent or heroic, who could have dared to think that it merited the punishment of a gentleman death without rendering himself guilty of the same crime? When fanaticism or the monstrous union between ignorance oh, and, and desperate like invented the in plan is still too vulnerable. And let's not forget, Lafreniere is still out there somewhere, waiting to burn us all at the stake. Top of engine, God. You haven't heard yet, then. Heard what? Lafreniere is dead. Hours ago, in fact. Assassin. That seems convenient. That's the thing about assassins. Point them at a Templar conspiracy. They ask no questions. Or right for the king. Predictably, won't we? <laughs> Come, we'll fetch the captain and get started. Have you calculated all the years by which penal laws can act on human sensibility? So what he's saying there is pretty important. Point the assassins at a Templar conspiracy. And they don't ask questions. Now, uh... We were pointed towards a Templar conspiracy. So uh, just keep that in mind. Now these guys need to get out of the way because I do not want to fail the mission because they're just not moving. And I have to go upstairs. Come on guys. No way. No way. I could just walk right by them and they didn't notice. Finished. Near enough. Now here's the thing. I can go on like this all day. But you, you've got an hour left. I'll like you. Two of the most. Ah, if I bring out the sharp bit. So why not skip the end game and go directly to me? Tell me where it is, and all this can be over. What was that? <laughs> You're a smart man. Roy, clean up your mess, it's time. Be right there. You heard the weasel, boys? Not one of the rank and file. Did you really throw him out the window? Trash belongs in the gutter. Sloppy. Someone might have seen. Who? 
My boys are watching the whole place. They'll deal with any good Samaritans. They'd better. The Grandmaster won't be happy if the whole plan comes unraveled because of one dead peon. Alright, just gotta make sure I stay out of his line of sight because I uh, do not want to fail at this stage. Strikes me as there are a lot of guards in this area, so we do not want to get caught. Otherwise, escaping is going to be a big problem. Alright, so if the eavesdrop on the meeting. Can't hear through the wall now. Hmm. Pretty sure there should be a place around here. Like, I'm right in the right area. Hang on. Ah. I see. Okay, that makes sense. Right. The great work requires patience, my friend. If Paris must suffer a while longer so the world might be remade, then so be it. Why not just kill him and be done with it? One of my boys, a knife, a dark hallway. Easy peasy. We want a condemned man, Captain, not a martyr. Have patience. Respectfully, Grandmaster, patience is well and fine. But the longer we wait, the greater the chance of discovery. Well, the assassins already found Siver and the Wadetun. Oh, Siver and Loire already served their purpose. Their destruction, while inconvenient, is no obstacle. And the assassins have already proved useful when properly led. What about the Della Sir brat? She could be dangerous if she manages to rally the old guard. That situation will be resolved. How so? Mademoiselle de la Sir will soon be on her way to l'Hôtel Voisin, eager to speak with Monsieur Lafreniere. Sadly, Monsieur Lafreniere has nothing left to say. <laughs> Please. All right, I have to go and help Elise now. At least she's coming back into the. But you've had your brush with the assassins as well. Respectfully, you won't always be so lucky. Quite right. I shall leave the execution of our work to you, good ladies and gentlemen. For my part, I shall retire to the sanctuary and await the final fate. Take care. At least Elise is coming back. Oh, oh shit. Find the spy. Oh shit, don't panic. <laughs> I can't panic now. I have to just find our way out and quickly too. So by the way, uh, the, the Grand Master is obviously uh, the silversmith. Just just so you... You probably figured that out, I'm just saying though. It's clear because he's the only one who's had a brush with us and lived. So, Oh my god, look at all them red dots. Okay, we, we need to find a way out and soon, otherwise this is going to turn ugly. Oh no, dead end. So many of them! Oh thank god. Out the window, come on, run out now. Oh my god, that was so lucky. So lucky. Alright, so uh, let's start sequence 6, memory 2, Templar Ambush. Elise? 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 Damn it. Where was it? Hotel Voisin? Merde. Alright. It's not too far, we have to go and help her out before she gets assassinated by Germain, 
who is the silversmith. I probably pronounced that wrong, but I was trying to do the French accent and failed quite miserably, to be honest. Get it away! Alright, there we go. <laughs> I don't know what that was, I'm sorry. What's going on? Where is Monsieur Lafreniere? He's dead. What? Go. I'll explain later. You neglected to tell her that it was you who killed him. <laughs> but whatever. No way past this one. Shall we? Let's. Oh, where's my bloody hell? Oh. Up and take a look. No, it's not too hard. I should just be able to climb up on a, uh, on a hedge, I think. Yep, yeah, there we go. It shouldn't be too hard. Look here. There's a bigger group coming up there. Did you see a young woman coming through here? No. Wait! Snipers! I see them. Perhaps we can get a better angle from the roof. Alain! Alain! We're looking for a woman. Look at all that blood splatter. <laughs> oh my god. Damn it, I'll get down. Looks like the last one. Let's get out of here. They can't have gone far. Find them. Go on. I'll distract them. Trust me. Meet me tomorrow at Cafe Theater. I'll explain everything. You're mad. I'll be there. We may be a little late. So guys, this brings us to the end of yet another video. Hopefully you liked it. Thanks so much for watching. If you did like it, please uh, give me the thumbs up. If you disliked it, give me the thumbs down. Leave some uh, feedback in the comment section as well. And if you want to see some more content, please remember to subscribe 
and uh, that really helps me out so it means a lot if you do remember to have a great rest of your day guys and uh, yeah until next time The Templars have marked her for death. So you brought her here. The Brotherhood has resources, manpower. Shut up! Well, what have we here? My name is... For heaven's sake, take that blindfold off. Ridiculous. My name is Elise de la Serre. My father was Francois de la Serre, Grand Master of the Templar Order. I've come to ask for your help.